I have come to Las Vegas to drive the new Nissan Z. While I prepare myself mentally and spiritually to experience the Z, let's level set. Here are the critical facts. The new 7th generation Z is built atop a modified 6th generation platform that has been updated with new suspension geometry, retuned dampers, and increased structural rigidity. Nissan claims a 10.8% increase in torsional stiffness. Power comes from a 3-liter twin-turbocharged V6. The standard transmission is a 6-speed manual featuring a synchro rev match feature for seamless downshifts. If the preceding 15 seconds sounds like gobbledygook, there's also a 9-speed automatic transmission offered at no extra cost, featuring standard launch control, aluminum paddle shifters, and two drive modes, sport and standard. As for pricing, a base Z sport trim costs $39,990 plus $1,025 in destination charges, which is a damn good price for a 400 horsepower car. That price includes a standard 12.3-inch 3-mo digital gauge cluster, smart key access, lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and a standard 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity. That said, I'm drawn to the performance grade, which adds a healthy 10 grand to the MSRP. The performance version gets leather heated power seats, 19-inch raised wheels, front and rear spoilers, and larger brakes with red calipers, but the item I care about is the mechanical limited slip differential. If you want to get all drifty drifty, you're going to need an LSD. Alright, I think those are the basics. Let's go play. All right, we're about to go out in the automatic car on the racetrack. Uh, one observation, I'm five foot 10 and the helmet is right up against the, uh, the roof here. So if you're uh, taller than five foot 10, good luck. I've engaged sport mode, look out. The brakes feel good. There's very little uh, dead space. Um, they might feel almost a little grabby um, when you're uh, driving at slow speeds, but on a racetrack like this, very confidence inspiring. The nine speed automatic is doing a pretty great job keeping itself in the correct gear. So uh, if you wanted to come on the racetrack and just focus on the line, then uh, that works pretty well. Though I am gonna drive the manual transmission in just a sec, and that's the one I'm excited about. All right, just for fun, I should put this in manual mode. Let's see what happens. I'm in fourth gear. I will downshift one, quick, two. Oh, nice quick responses from the uh, paddle shifters. That's great. All right, that's the automatic. Let's move to the manual. The manual transmission has a uh, rev matching feature. So if I go down to second, it automatically matches the revs. So it's very easy to shift and look like you know how to shift. By the way, I did just notice there that if you get on it uh, in second gear, the tail will step out a little bit. We're driving with stability control on, uh, so no journalists ball these things up. But uh, oh, I think there's some uh, playful potential here. What I have noticed is that in the corners, the Z is very responsive to little throttle adjustments. So to tighten the line, uh, you really can just lift off just a little bit. And uh, as you add the accelerator, if you get aggressive, it will step out. I feel like I'm describing any rear drive sports car. It's basically doing proper sports car things. Along the track here, there are undulations, these little bumps where um, oftentimes when you drive sporty cars, it's a very, very firm feeling, but uh, in the Z, it feels fairly compliant. And um, even though uh, firm might feel racier, you know, being able to absorb those bumps and keep the tires in contact with the ground is a very good thing. I suspect uh, as tuned, this is a pretty good compromise between uh, on-track performance and on-street comfort, but I will let you know when I get on the street. In terms of steering feel, the uh, wheel doesn't feel um, too quick nor too slow. They've Goldilocks it. Turning in here, I feel like I can make all the little adjustments I need to um, without um, unsettling the car. One more quick note, uh, in terms of sound, I think the Z is a little mid-rangey for my taste. I'd love a little bit more like low-end kind of growl. It feels a little Does any of that make sense? <laughs> Am I communicating sound correctly?
right, Nissan has set up a, a little bit of an acceleration course here, just a standing start acceleration thing. I'm in the $40,000, 400 horsepower sports version. This is the manual transmission, and I'm curious to see what it's like to leave from a stop. All right, let's put 400 horsepower to good use. Three, two, one. Very aggressive shifting because it's not my car. <laughs> 84 miles an hour through the traps there, nice. Uh, that felt plenty quick to me. I think uh, it's a good use of 400 horsepower. And it's crazy that that's in a vehicle that's uh, slightly under $40,000. All right, I have moved to the nine-speed automatic transmission for the first run. I'm just going to floor it. And this is what that looks like. I gotta tell you, that feels plenty quick. Also, it's at 84 miles an hour as I went through the traps there, and so I don't think uh, I was any slower driving the automatic. If you buy an automatic Z and you wanna use launch control, firm left pedal, both pedals back, Launch control, after you've planned it, let go, Wee! yeah, huh, interesting. I better do it one more time just to make sure I'm using launch control correctly. Firm left pedal, both paddles, launch control, let go. Ooh, that felt good, yeah. Okay, that was um, uh, 86, 89-ish um, in the uh, Speedo there. That felt quicker. That was a much better launch than the, uh, the previous launch control. I think I got it right. Sure, I'm glad I tried it again. I would say the Z feels quick. One fun element of the manual equipped car is power on shift. It's simply a no lift shift feature that lets you leave the accelerator floor between gear changes. I'm driving the Z on the street, and I'm gonna start with a question. Are roads in Nevada particularly lacking in grip? Because every time I ease into the uh, accelerator, the tires start to spin. Is that normal? That is a convenient lead into power delivery. I really like how the V6 operates. Uh, here I am, I'm gonna be in fourth gear. I'm under 3,000 RPMs, like uh, 2,600, and rolling into it, you just feel this steady, progressive swell, and it gains and gains and gains. There's no big delay while you wait for the turbos to spool up. It just starts going and then keeps going. Hi. Oh, look, a corner. This can demonstrate the steering, which I have noted, it takes very little effort to change trajectory. When you just make a little bit of an adjustment off center, uh, it starts turning. I wouldn't say that it feels you know, nervous or anything like that. There's just a promptness to the way the steering operates. Oh, here we got a left hand. Let's see, little turn, nice. Also had some bumps there, and I've found that the ride quality on the streets is really quite good in the Z. When you go over real chattery stuff, you'll feel that, but this is not a punishing ride at all. You could absolutely commute in this. See, look at these bumps. Bouncy, but not painful. I really liked how the brakes felt on the racetrack, but let's see how they feel on the streets. That felt good to me. I don't want to make this entire video about the road surfaces in Nevada, but I have noticed on some of the roads I've driven a ton of tire noise. Um, this isn't a particularly quiet cabin, but then again, that lets you hear the V6 a little bit better, and that's not so bad, is it? Here we go. Two more little complaints. Uh, visibility over my right shoulder is abysmal um, because of style lines. Yeah, I can't see through that um, not window part. And then I wish the steering wheel telescoped a little further back. Um, based on where I am for good pedal placement, um, the steering wheel doesn't come quite far back enough. Then again, in the 370Z, the steering wheel didn't telescope at all. So count your blessings. Oh, okay, last thought, I do like having the six-speed manual, uh, even on the streets. Yeah, it's a little bit more work. You gotta use your left leg uh, in addition to your right leg, but I feel like I could spend all my commute just going back and forth between third and fourth. That's a good time. 
based on first impressions, the Z is an alluring package. It has a well-rounded sporting demeanor, ample power, and compared to, I don't know, let's say the Toyota Supra, it's an outstanding value. Is America clamoring for a two-seat performance car? I do not know, but personally, I'm glad the Z exists, and I'm glad that Nissan priced it for normal folks to be able to buy. Good luck with the added dealer markup. <laughs>